I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. For today's video, we're going a bit more back to recipe content, which I'm so excited about. And I thought this week I would film a whole week of high protein breakfasts. I don't know about you, but breakfast is my absolute favorite meal of the day literally can't get enough of it i would happily have breakfast food for breakfast lunch dinner like any time of the day breakfast just slaps so all the recipes in this video i am actually going to include the calories and macros i'm personally not tracking at the moment but i know that a lot of you that do follow me do track your meals so i am going to track them to be a little bit more helpful for any of you watching all the recipes are going to be high at protein and low-ish calories i don't really focus too much on making my breakfast too low calorie purely because i genuinely do think it is the most important meal of the day i do notice when i have a smaller breakfast that i start flagging a lot earlier in the day so i do quite like having a big breakfast i'm not gonna lie to you guys all the recipes i am including in this video are like staples in my diet the majority of them i just kind of like switch the flavors and what i use in them but the kind of basic ingredients are the same so i hope by seeing the different recipes you can also think of ways to switch them and make them more like personalized to you and things you'd prefer eating but yeah before we get into the video make sure you drop the video a like and subscribe to my channel and also whilst you're here go and follow me on instagram and tiktok i post so many recipes over there as well as like body positivity content self-love content and a little bit of fitness but yeah today i've woken up really craving egg don't know why but i'm thinking of having an omelette i actually got sent all of corn's new like ham ranges so i'm thinking to put like one sheet of ham from each of the packets into the omelette so it's going to be kind of like ham and cheese omelette which definitely sounds like an absolute bit of me and obviously will be high protein which is even better but yeah let's get ahead and make the omelette because i am absolutely starving <laughs> Okay, I've actually decided to make it as a little bake in the oven. Kind of like an egg bake, just basically an omelette mixture, but just put it in the oven to bake instead. I just really have a feeling, because I've put in so much ham, that it's not going to hold, and when I flip it, it's going to go everywhere. And I already know myself, and I know that flipping omelettes is not one of my skills, so I feel like I'm not going to challenge myself today and just pop it into the oven instead. But yeah, the nice reality of being a recipe creator doesn't always go to plan. <laughs> I got little things, because I got big deals, and I got little things, got everything. Please just excuse all the washing in the background. I was gonna film this in the garden, but my neighbors are outside and I don't really wanna speak too loudly at the camera whilst they're out there. But I'm honestly so excited to eat this. Can you see my arm? When I got this out of the oven, I literally burnt myself and it really hurts. So keep that in mind when you take it out of the oven because don't burn yourself like me. Whilst I was waiting for it to cook, I was thinking it didn't actually have any veg in it. So I have actually made some tomatoes and cucumbers I have with this. It is actually more around like brunch time purely because of how late I started this video. So is that an excuse to have cucumber with my meal? Because I always get told off by everyone for having cucumber with my breakfast. And I don't really understand why. Because I genuinely think cucumber with every single meal is acceptable. Like it is one of my favorite vegetables. And obviously it's absolutely amazing for volume eating. I feel like this is still going to be a little bit too hot for me to eat. But I have actually actually tracked it and this has 356 calories and 51 grams of protein which those macros are absolutely incredible 51 grams of protein literally just in breakfast i always find having a high protein breakfast just really gets you on a good track to hitting your protein goal for the day i always find if i have like a lower protein breakfast i feel a bit lost during the day trying to hit my protein so if you are trying to focus on getting a high protein diet this is absolutely insane i really want to try it but i know it's going to be so hot it's got so much ham in it i'm so excited can we see how much ham is in there <gasps> i'm so excited not gonna lie i do wish i put some more veg inside of this purely because i feel like it's gonna break up the ham a lot i find if you don't put egg in like I don't know what this is called, but like an omelette bake, I'm going to call it. I find if you don't put like veg in it, it tastes a little bit stodgy and samey. I, I find like veg breaks it up a lot. I'm scared. I really don't want a burnt mouth for the next like five days. Mm. I can't lie, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I feel like all of the different hams is just really adding something. And it's actually really helping it to break up more. So if you do have multiple hams, which I'm very aware, most people don't just have four different types of ham sitting in their fridge. I normally don't. But obviously, Quorn kindly sent me them, which is the biggest pinching moment. If you're a vegetarian, you will know how exciting it must be for me to get sent a corn package. Like, I've literally been eating that since I was about two. But yeah, the different hams are really adding something, but obviously, I normally wouldn't do that. I'd normally just stick to one kind of ham. Come right now, you know where I stand. I just wanna say you're my, you're my. I just wanna say you're my, you're my. Put the
morning and happy Tuesday. As you would have just seen, I just made breakfast. So today we have got Weetabix porridge. Weetabix porridge is genuinely one of my favorite breakfasts. I never have it enough. I kind of always forget it exists. And as I was coming downstairs trying to work out what I wanted to eat, I was like, I forgot about you. And I really fancy that. My main criteria for breakfast this morning was chocolate. I'm really craving something chocolatey. So the protein powder I've used is the chocolate brownie one from my protein, which is by far my favorite chocolate protein powder. Then I just added on a load of frozen raspberries and a couple of milk chocolate chips. I'm honestly so excited to eat it. It's already been the most hectic morning. I feel like my life at the moment with videos is just getting so, so busy. I constantly have something to be editing. And I know this will fill me up. I'm not gonna be feeling like I need a snack within like the next hour. This should keep me going for a good like three to four hours which is what I love about this. And to be honest, that's what I love about absolutely everything high protein. It just keeps you so much fuller than any of the alternatives. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she does not look like an artist made her. I have definitely made more aesthetic breakfasts in my life, but it's not about the looks, it's about how she tastes. Normally, I would wipe around the sides to try and make it a little bit like more presentable. But since we're on YouTube and it's not getting posted anywhere else, I feel like it's a bit more acceptable for it to be a little bit more messy. I feel like you know more of the real me over here. <laughs> right, let's give her a little taste test. I am so excited because I just know it's going to taste so good. And the little chocolate chips, when they mix with the warm Weetabix, it's like little bites of joy. It's things like that that I actually live for. <laughs> Evidently, I have a very sad life. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god, that is insane. Mm -mm -mm. Weetabix with porridge has a place in my heart. It's the most underrated breakfast, I swear. And it literally takes under five minutes to make, so how can you complain? This morning, I'm actually making a recipe from Element Recipes, my cookbook. Very exciting. Genuinely still can't believe that I'm even saying that I've got a cookbook, let alone holding my own cookbook. Literally insane. I'm not gonna be making the exact recipe from the cookbook, but I'm basically really fancying some chocolate baked oats. And this here is obviously a mint aero version, but I'm thinking of making like a chocolate caramel Freddo version. Basically, I always go to the shops and like kind of look around the sweet section and try and like think of different recipes I can make out of things. And I was thinking a caramel Freddo on the top of baked oats so it starts like melting. Don't get me started because that actually sounds insane. But that's one thing I really, really love about the cookbook is all the recipes, you can pretty much tweak a few things and make a completely different recipe. So for example, with this one, instead of using chocolate mint protein powder, I can use my dark chocolate caramel one. Instead of using the mint air on the top, I can obviously use the caramel freddo and like I'm thinking some kind of caramel sauce if I can find it. But that's the plan for today. Even though this is my recipe, I find it really useful to just have all the ingredients sitting there because I normally have to flick back between like where I write down my recipes and where I'm cooking like on my phone, which obviously makes it a little bit of a nightmare when I'm filming. So just to have it sitting here with me whilst I'm making it is an absolute godsend. If you are interested in buying my cookbook, I will leave the link down below. I'm actually so proud of her. Like genuinely, this is my child. I'm so proud of it. There's so many different exclusive recipes in here too, as well as obviously like some of my most viral recipes, some of the recipes you know and love. But I don't know about you, but whenever I find a recipe I love on Instagram, I'm not forgetting it even exists because even if I save it, there's so many items in my saved like videos and stuff that I just end up forgetting the recipes exist. So I feel like just having them all in one place because you end up finding recipes that you'll forget I even posted. Say for example, I bet you do not remember this raspberry and white chocolate baked crumpets. Did you remember it? Probably not, but it's literally one of my favorite recipes ever. So I just have it there and kind of remind yourself of different recipes you can make. I love. But yeah, this one I'm gonna be copying today and hopefully the Freddo works just as well as the Mint Aero did because when I tell you the Mint Aero ones, I actually have to take a step back and be like, I just made this. This isn't like bought from a shop. Like it literally tastes insane. You would not believe I made that in my kitchen with my bare hands. But yeah, fingers crossed the Freddo one does go just as well because I'm in the mood for some baked oats today. Honestly, give me all the chocolate. I'm in such a chocolatey sweet mood today. So it's the perfect way to obviously start my day. But yeah, let's get into making the chocolate Freddo caramelly baked oats. I have no idea what I'm gonna call this yet. I might post it on Instagram. I'm not sure. It kind of depends how it goes. But you know, with brown hair, if it doesn't go that well, you're gonna see it all the behind the scenes. But fingers crossed it does go well but yeah let's get baking is it baking or cooking i'm assuming because it's like kind of like a cake it'd be baking but is it cooking because it's technically not a cake does it really matter absolutely not let's go <laughs> guess he just poured the oats and forgot to turn the camera on 
That would be me. Why is this out of focus? Hello? I can't even get all the oats out, so I'm literally gonna have to wash this <laughs> just because I forgot to press film. <gasps> Honestly, making recipes sometimes tests me. And right now, it's one of those times that tests me. Honestly, sometimes you have to laugh. I definitely added in too much baking powder. It's risen so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's really hot. Do you ever get it when your hands literally get burned through oven gloves? Because the thing is so hot. I don't really know what to do about this. It is a bit of a mess, I can't lie. Anybody with trypophobia or a fear of like holes in stuff, Look away now, because you're not gonna like it. Skip forward like 10 seconds. I just don't know what happened. Why is there like holes in it? I'm assuming like the chocolate chips and the fudge pieces have just like sunk in it. I don't really know why, because I've made this so many times before and that literally never happens. So that's interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make it again and post it on Instagram. I'm not gonna bother using the Freddo on this one because I don't wanna have to buy a new Freddo. And it was mainly just a decorative please. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. Am I gonna post this? It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. Right, I really, really don't wanna waste food right now. So I'm gonna break into it and see what happens, see how it tastes. Hopefully it still tastes good because I don't understand what's happened. Still got the melted caramel on, which is good. Yes, yeah, so you can literally see the chocolate chips. I don't know if you can see it there. That's the chocolate chip. They've obviously for some reason sunk to the bottom. That is so strange. That has literally never happened before. Okay, I still think it's gonna taste good, so it should be fine, but that's just so annoying that it doesn't look aesthetic. I mean, it looks even less aesthetic now. Actually, kind of debatable. Does it look better now? I think it actually might look better now. Now it's been like, broken up and you can't see the holes. I think in fairness, I completely lost track of time and I think it was in there for probably like 20 minutes too long. So I don't think that would have helped the situation. But I'm gonna try and make it again and not put the chocolate chips and stuff in until after. And I'm hoping it should just bake evenly. I mean, it's still really good. Mm. Like the flavour combination is absolutely delicious, but mm, it's good. morning guys and happy thursday i'm not gonna lie today we have made something i've never made before in the sense that the combination is very strange so we've got pesto eggs on crumpets and i've actually added some cucumber on again today just to get some veg in i don't know if this combination is gonna work i've never had it with crumpets before i always have pesto eggs and i'm obsessed with crumpets at the moment so i thought you know what? So I just thought, you know what? Let's try it, see if it works. I also didn't have any bagels left in the house, so I didn't really want to go out. When the shop's coming tomorrow, it didn't seem to make much sense. I don't know how to eat these. Is it acceptable to use my hands with eggs? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's give it a little taste test. Mm. Oh my God, that's better than a bagel. Okay, I'm about to bite into the yolk. Should we see if it spurts everywhere? Look at that. Guys, this is sensational. This is, it's unbelievable. I 10 out of 10 definitely recommend trying crumpets instead of bagels for your pesto eggs. I can't even explain to you how good it tastes. It just tastes like a pancake with like pesto-y egginess. Mm, it's so good.
Wow. Good morning guys and happy Friday. It is actually a couple of weeks later from when the rest of this video was filmed. But I've just been editing the video and I've just realised that I didn't film the breakfast on Friday. And it's actually Friday today so I guess it works out kind of well. If you're not in the UK right now, it's so cold. It's been snowing so flipping much. This is my garden right now. Literally so much snow. And I don't know about you guys, but when it's so cold outside, I actually find it a lot harder to eat than when it's hot. I don't know why. It may also be because I I've been ill this week to be fair so i just haven't really got that much of an appetite going on but we still eat every single meal regardless and this morning i've really been craving some egg white pancakes and i know it sounds weird don't get me wrong i know it sounds very questionable but trust me it tastes so good so genuinely just trust me on this one i would never give you a recipe that did not taste good hopefully you all know that by now but this is such a simple recipe literally takes about five minutes to make so it's really good for when you have a little bit of a busier morning and it's also so high in protein it's unbelievable Believable. But I'm gonna stop talking your ears off and let's get making the recipe. pancakes are done this is what they look like i definitely need to buy a new non-stick pan because i've never seen this stick to the pan like that so i definitely need to be asking santa for a new pan for christmas but nevertheless it still smells just as good as it always does as always i need to give it a little taste test on the camera there's so much peanut butter inside the pancakes too which is my absolute favorite so i'm genuinely so excited mm. you would not know that the main ingredient for this pancakes is literally just egg whites Honestly, I think egg whites are the most slept upon ingredient because you can literally flavour them to taste like whatever you like because they don't really have a taste. And you'd probably think this is going to taste really eggy, but it genuinely doesn't. It literally just tastes like a normal soft pancake. And I know you're not going to believe me, so genuinely try these and let me know how you find them because I literally think they're one of the best things in the world. So I'm going to go and sit and finish my breakfast. But that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's been so nice getting back in the kitchen and making some like YouTube content for once. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. We're so close to hitting 1,000 subscribers, which will be my first like major YouTube milestone. So that is so exciting. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon for another video. I love you all so much. Bye. Mwah.